graffiti roll. Um, yeah, so um, yesterday I went to a Tesco and uh, I bought a, a DVD from the sort of uh, bargain bin, um, which isn't like a proper bin because uh, they, they don't like it when you take stuff from there. But um, it's like a sort of crate where you get uh, DVDs, which are like just a quid, basically. And uh, I bought this DVD and it was called uh, Sven Goran Eriksson, uh, All the Greatest Goals. Uh, and when I saw that, I was just like, what? You know, like, didn't know he played football. Like, I thought he was just a pundit. Um, so I, I thought, okay, I'll get that. Uh, and I watched it and uh, I've got like a, a couple of observations which I noticed. Um, the, f the first one is like, for, well, basically for the first 20 minutes of the DVD, like, it's just Sven scoring these amazing goals. Like really good goals but what I think has happened is he's been digitally imposed on other players scoring these goals uh, because like the textures for, for just Sven are just like completely off like in some shots he's like really shiny like stu like blindingly shiny like stupidly shiny like you can't even tell it's a person it just looks like a sort of orb kind of thing like scoring a header or whatever but then in other other shots he's got like this sort of matte finish like he looks like a sort of handbag um, so it's a bit weird, but that wasn't like the weirdest thing about um those goals because also what I noticed was um whenever he celebrates um he'd always just he'd run up to the camera get really close to the camera uh, lift his shirt up um and on his chest he's got this sort of red tattoo um and it looks uh, it looks a lot like Satan um but like uh, sort of like a pear as well if you know what I mean. Um, and uh, whenever you whenever you look at this tattoo, you just hear screaming in your ears like constantly, like really loud. Uh, but that wasn't like what we what really weirded me out about this was that um, he he never gets yellow carded for it. Like he just like the referee sees it every time. He never gives him a yellow card for lifting up his shirt. And I was just like really freaked out by that. I just like didn't know what was going on. But um, so that's like the first twenty minutes. But then about half an hour in, um, it cuts suddenly to um. A sort of shot in the dressing rooms, uh, and it's just uh, Sol Campbell on his own, um, and and he's uh, he's not naked, uh, but but you can still see his dick, um, and he's and he's trembling and he's like he's really uh, shifting. He's like looking around. And you can hear this dog barking in the background, um, and he just keeps saying how he's really happy to be involved, like he's one hundred percent keen to be involved, and you don't know what he's talking about. He's just like yeah, really happy to be involved, really really keen. It's a bit weird. Uh, but at one point he gets even more shifty and starts sweating um, and then he then he, he loses it and he says um, okay okay I can't handle it I'm not Sol Campbell Sol Campbell died in 1996 my name is Jeffrey Averson I am a deep sea fisherman Sol Campbell is not alive Some, Sol Campbell died in a car crash in 1996 Sol Campbell is dead this is a conspiracy I'm finally breaking my silence and like the first sort of six seven times you watch that you don't really uh, like take in what he's saying just because you're so um, aware of his schlong um, but sort of like sort of the tenth time you watch it you think you know oh like Sol Campbell's dead 